Yo, what's up guys, your boy Kyoja here, and today I'm going to be doing a new series on my channel. Um, going to be teaching you guys how to edit. Well, I'm going to be doing an edit and showing you how I do it. It's not really teaching you, well, kind of is, but hopefully, uh, if you guys are editors, you'll be interested by this, and you'll watch it. If you're not, you may want to get into editing after watching this, and, uh, yeah, and also it's, uh, actually seven months today that I, um, started YouTube, so, yeah, just a little... Oh my god, the door just... Oh, I just had half failure. My door just slammed shut. Oh, okay. With that, let's uh, let's uh, start the edit. Well, it's going to be called a Pomage Taj because I'm using clips uh, from Pomage. Uh, cool name, I think. So, if you go into here, I'm going to go to my uh, clips. I've uh, got Pomage and I got a tutorial. He had multiple ones for Black Ops 2 Ghost, MB3, and MW2, but I picked out 18. I'm going to use as opposed to using like 31 in Black Ops 2, I think, which I was originally going to use. Uh, so, you know, just got this, click on import folder. Right there. The way I got into that is I just double clicked there and uh, yeah, it brought up the, um, you know, the option. So, what we're going to do now is we are going to import editing after effects. I got um, gun sounds, which we're going to need. We're going to import this entire folder. Uh, because we have multiple, multiple games, we got like MW3, Ghosts, no we don't have Ghosts, MW3, MW2, and Black Ops 2. If you go to After Effects again, we can use um, Gun Sound Enhancement Pack. Uh, these are just like explosions and little stuff we can use to make them sound even better. We might or might not use them. And then the song I'm going to use is uh, to Remix of Colors by Elliot Berger. It's a really good song, I really like it. So. This is what we have, so if I do it in order, I like to do it by color order. Uh, we got the tutorial here, and uh, for this for this episode, we're going to be doing the uh, CC. So, if I get this first clip, uh, it is three singles to triple collat, as you can see. It's kabam. Uh, I guess, okay, maybe not, I don't know. Anyway, yeah, we got, we got this clip, and he goes around here and hits a triple. Beautiful. So... Uh, let's not worry about the clip so far. Let's go on to that. Uh, the reason how I got that is I uh, dragged the uh, clip onto there and it made it into a composition, which we're going to do for all of the clips, and you'll see why uh, later. So, what we're going to do first of all, do Control Alt Y, which makes an adjustment layer, or you could just go to Layer, New Adjustment Layer, but I just do that a lot quicker. So, we got this. Uh, you want to go into Effects and Presets. And go on to um, Lux. Uh, this is a third party plugin, uh, Magical Lux MBL. Uh, you can get it in the Red Giant Color Suite. You can get it pretty easily, I think, online. Um, so, yeah, I'll let you guys get that on your own. You know, I'm not, not going to do a tutorial on that. This is about the editing. So, what we're going to do first, we're going to go to Edit. And this layer, we're just gonna like really increase the contrast and make it like kind of dark and like really not much color. Um, and you'll see why later. So you got this, put this there. I'm gonna drop this down to 60, let's say, or 65. No, not that. <laughs> 65. Um, yeah, so we've still got a little bit of color, but not too much. The red actually shows up pretty nicely there. It looks pretty good. Um, that should be. Right in the center, have no color at all. So, whatever. Okay, so as long as that's on 65, that's good. Now we're gonna go to curves, and this one you can do to you can you can go a bit more than I want to do, or a bit less. 0.75 is typically okay. Me personally, though, I actually like to do 0.6. Nope, don't give me those options. I want to do this. Yeah, point six, you see. It's a little bit, uh, you can see more lights and darks there, but that looks pretty good. Uh, then we go to uh, lens, vignette, and on here, I don't want to have a um, dark vignette. I want to have quite a light ish vignette because I'm having a, uh, a very, I don't know, it's a very, um, the song's called Color, so it's going to be after. So I'm hoping to make the CC very colourful. So, if we do spread to 1.25... Um, I can't apparently. Okay. 
Um, aspect 1.25. Uh, so it's a bit wider. Radius 1.25. That's what I meant. Okay, this one, go back to 1. Uh, and here we're going to just choose the color. Uh, see, I want to have, see, I want to have, uh, like a gray sort of color. So I'm going to do that. I think it looks okay. Fall off, I'm going to do, no, putting up 0.25. Uh, see, it's a bit further away from the edge there. See, just a little, uh, white around the edge. Just makes it look a little bit better in my opinion. Uh, you can increase the strength maybe up to like 90. Yeah, that looks good. Okay. And then you're gonna go on to camera, I think. Yes? No? Okay, subject. Then you wanna do pop. Just drag it there. And uh, you wanna pop this <laughs> literally up to 50. And that is a uh, sharpening tool. So you see there before, there after, it looks a lot sharper. See blurry there, a lot sharper there, the colours look fresher. Uh, it's all around just uh, really good. So that is the bottom layer. Um, so, what we're going to do is we're going to name these 1 uh, to 5, I think I had before. Yeah, there's going to be 5 layers, so name this 5, because this will be on the bottom for every single clip we do. Look at that, it looks pretty good. So, before, after, before, after. It's not even finished yet. Already, you can see there's a big difference in uh, you know the color of it. So now we are going to rename this again to four. This will come in handy later when you do for other clips. You know you have it in the right order because a lot of the time it'll mess it up. I want to go on to effect. Uh, this is another third-party plugin. Uh, Fuchsia Lift. I don't know how you say that. I want to have glow, and for this, radius up to two fifty. Do that to aberrative, aberrative, the glow mode. Uh, put aspect to point, uh, 3. No, 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 point 0.7, point 0.7, that's it. So it's got like all these colors and everything there. It looks pretty good. You want to keep everything else the same there. Uh, keep it on screen. Selection and enable. And for this, I'm pretty sure the lightness, you just do, yeah, you change the start, so you don't have the entire clip to have this. What you can do is you can just bump it up, do it like 150, so only the really bright parts are shown. I'm actually going to do 175. Hopefully you can't hear that ambulance outside, just as I start recording, it's like an ambulance outside. How convenient. So, you got that section done, you got now channel control. Which, um, personally, I don't want to have all these colors, so I think I might bump down the blue to 0.5 and uh, the red to 0.5. So it's a bit more green, but there is still the red and the blue there um, because uh, we're going to have a mainly like a greeny orange edit. So actually, we're going to do the red back up to 1 uh, and just have the blue down to so Just these two colors, it should. And it will turn out very well in the end. You can see there, sometimes it's not as bright as others because you're looking down. But when it's in the sun, you know, you can see when it's nice and bright, when the threshold's uh, correct, you can, it looks good. And color bias, uh, if you change the lightness just like 0.25, that should look okay. Oh, 0.1. It's a little bit brighter than zero. Just a bit, yeah, I like that. So... Uh, that is layer 4, that is just going to be our flares, almost, yeah, they're going to be flares, um, see, so yeah, that's going to look good, and he goes around the corner, bam, hits a triple right there, oh no, he hits single, single, then triple, whatever, I don't know, okay, so, control, alt, y, let's rename this again, you guessed it, to layer number 3, and this is going to be your, like, color overlay, so you want to have magical ball looks again, um, and you want to go into here. This is pretty simple. You just want to go on to Matte and Diffusion, drag it on. And now you're gonna to have to choose what colors you want. So as I said before, I want to have a um, a green, and I'm also gonna want an orange. So first of all, you just do green. Put it to the right color you want. Yours doesn't have to be green. It can be whatever. Uh, put in the grade up to six, so it's nice and bright for you. Uh, the glow and highlight you can mess with. I'm gonna mess with this. I'm gonna put up to 50. Just so, actually, no. I'm gonna put it down to 25. That was it. Um, no, not 200. 25. 
Um, the glow as well, you may want to lower that down. Uh, I'm going to lower mine down to 30. Actually, yeah. Um, highlights only 65. No, 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 you want to put that to 80. Sorry, I always forget which way. So, that's your orange color overlay. You want to click finished. And bam, you can see the color difference. But, we don't want to have it throughout the entire clip. So, we got this. Click on this rectangle tool and then just draw a mask over it like that. Uh, now you'll have masked only that top part to be green. So if you click on feather, you can feather it 125 pixels. So it isn't just uh, the color ends halfway, like right by there. It'll like fade out. Uh, now what you want to do is you want to then duplicate this layer. For some reason that's called number six. No, I want this to be called number two. And uh, what we're going to do is just going to grab this layer and drag it down just so it's uh, not quite past halfway. See, this one's still up top here. Uh, the T, yeah, it's still good like that. Uh, but this one, you want to go into Edit, and you're going to go on Diffusion again, and you want to change it to whatever other color you want it. So me personally, I want it to have orange. I think that looks pretty good like that. Uh, and then just click finished, and this then will change to an orange. And for some reason, this always bugs out for me. So if I go to mask, I'll delete the mask again because it thinks that's the size of the um, you know, that's the size of it. So you go like that. You get the mask tool again, and you're on that layer. Uh, you go like roughly halfway. Just drag it down to by there. You go onto that, click F, feather it, 125 pixels. You see there, it's nice and like a little bit of a gradient. Um, see on the bottom here, there's like a lack of color. That's uh, because you um, feathered it. So what you do with that is you click scale. Uh, see, it's already quite big. Let's just make it even bigger and we can even position it down a bit. So that the entire clip there is um, colorful. Okay. You may want to adjust that like a little bit more if you want, to, however you want it. But for me, that looks pretty good. So, looking through now, you got all your colors. So you've got the green on the top, uh, the orange on the bottom where it's bright enough. And, uh, yeah, so at the moment, that is looking pretty nice. I think you can do whatever colors you want, to be honest. You could do multiple colors. You know, just mask them off in different areas. You could do like, you know, three colors. Do like one in the middle, one on the top, one on the bottom. Um, but you know, whatever you want, looks so good there. So uh, we got the strengths and everything. Okay. So total lot Y. So it'll be our last adjustment layer. Rename layer number one. For this, we're going to be adding uh, effect um, trap code shine. Now, so you have to get another third-party plugin. This is uh, sorry about all third-party plugins, but they are the best. I'm gonna drag this all the way up to the top here, so it's nice and bright. Uh, Pre-process. You want to use the threshold and do it up to like 200, maybe. Um, and then just go through your clip, see if that is uh, bright enough or too bright. You want to have a reasonable light in your clip at the top. See there, it's a little bit of just a glow. Uh, now the ray length is a bit long, so I'm just going to lower that down to two. Actually one, I think. Yeah, that should look okay. Put that up to two. No, put that one up to, put that down to zero, actually. Let's see, it looks a bit too bright at the moment. Uh, no, pretty threshold, that's why, 180, uh, it'll make it a bit darker, 200, um, uh, that should be okay, you can just mess around with it a little bit guys, just to see, you know, how bright you want to have it, and that sort of stuff, you can change the colour of it as well, uh, if you don't have it, these colours, which I don't, I want to have like a light uh, green sort of colour for that one, a darker green there. For this one, you just want to have another dark green. It looks pretty bright and it looks actually really nice. So, 
The mid-tone layer, I think I'm going to do as a green, as an orange. Just to vary up the colors a little bit. Uh, make it look pretty good. Uh, you may want to increase the threshold uh, quite a bit. Um, 250, as I had it before. See there, you can't really see it by there. When it gets into the light, you can see it uh, quite a bit. Uh, you may want to mask this a little bit so it doesn't go through your entire clip. Uh, well, if you just go back here, let me just measure the threshold again. Um, yeah, 225 seems to be a good threshold, actually. Doesn't affect a lot of the bottom of the clips. Um, there doesn't seem to affect it, though, at all. Uh, there you go. Okay, you could either do that. Uh, that's one option for this layer one. You can you know, duplicate that. I'm going to rename it layer one again. It won't let me. Okay, let's just delete chat. We'll call it layer six for now. And you could go. Uh, let's just delete it so you can't see that layer. Doesn't seem to do much at the moment, does it? So, you could go to Effect, uh, Trap Code, uh, also Star Glow, which personally I think is a lot better. So, you got Star Glow there. Um, go into this, do the Ellipse tool. You can just do a section at the top, uh, which you want to have it glowing. It doesn't have to be a lot, just typically where the sky would be. Don't click Enter like I just did. Okay, just click the Move tool. Um, then you want to go to F and feather it out 150 pixels, this one. So, you know, it looks pretty good there. Now you can change the threshold again. Uh, 200, roughly, is a good one. Because it'll only be that top be area. That top area. Um, um, on some, on clips, some clip, that's all, that's be, all a be a little bit not enough. Not enough. So, so you, know, you can switch yeah, it around. Switch it around. Clip, two two five, five, we'll do it again like you did again, before. Like before. Um, actually, um, no, actually, I'll leave no, it down. I'll leave it down. 180. It's got a mess of it. A mess of it. See what looks good. I uh, see that looks decent. So, uh, for the color map, you can see I've got the three color gradient there. I like that one. And color map B, uh, I want to change this as well to be like that sort of color. And then I want this one to be a green as well. And then the very final one can also be a green. So it looks really green, obviously. Uh, streak length, put that down to 10. So it'll look a bit too long, the streaks. You could even do it to like 6, I'd say. 6 looks good. Boost light, you could boost that up to 1 if you want. Um, what else? Uh, transfer mode. I wouldn't really uh, mess with these. So a lot of the time, it won't make it look very good. Uh, so I just keep it as screen. And should look okay. You see, there it looks pretty decent. It just adds a bit of a, um, you know, a shine, obviously, because the fact called shine to the top of your clip. So I prefer that. I do that uh, personally. So yeah, looks uh, pretty nice. Might uh, lower that down to zero here. Put this up to two hundred, actually. Uh, One ninety, whatever. Just mess around with it, guys, and uh, you should be able to do it right. Softness down to two, no, up to two, should I say? And uh, yeah, I think that is pretty much this episode done. I'll be doing more of these in the future. Did I feather this? Yeah, 150 pixels. Just double checking. So uh, that has been episode one of me showing you guys how to edit uh, part one of the homage tage, as I'm going to call it. So yeah, actually, do T. Drop it down to 80. Last thing, just so it's not as bright. Yeah, it looks really good now. So, yeah, that's been part one. Uh, make sure you stick around for the next part in the next couple of days. Or I'll just go over, you know, what to do next and stuff. And uh, ordering clips and, and that stuff. I should try not to um, cut any stuff out. But, uh, you know, if it's really boring and repetitive, then I will. So, uh, yeah, make sure to leave a like on the video. Comment down below if you want to subscribe to more daily content. I've been your boy Kildra. I'm out. Peace.